Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to volume 14 of our Visual Basic tutorials. In this tutorial I will be discussing the functionalities of Option Explicit within the program. Okay, it may seem like a scary little word but we'll soon break it down into short sentences that you can process and understand easily. Okay. To perform option explicit, you scroll to the top of your coding window or just choose general from the top here. This will place the cursor at the very top of your coding window and just type option explicit. Now, what option explicit does is like a built in error checking tool within Visual Basic. It will tell you if you have not defined your variables in runtime, it will tell you if you have performed any errors, it will tell you if you have spelt any such variables wrongly. Remember during the while tutorial I misspelled temp var and used temp instead. It will tell me that before I actually run my program that this is an error and I should correct this. And let's try it out now. Okay. Instead of dimming our variables like we usually do with the dim command, we're just going to say message box hello hello equals hello there. So, oh, um, there we go. Okay. We've defined a variable called hello. Well, we haven't defined it, we've initialized it. And we're displaying it on the screen. Hopefully this option explicit command will tell us that we haven't defined the variable hello and we're trying to use it. Variable not defined. If we delete option explicit, start again. As you can see, it, it doesn't say variable not defined anymore. So, option explicit is a built in error checking tool within Visual Basic to make sure that all your variables are defined correctly. As you can see, if we redefine this here, and it works with the option explicit. So option explicit is a built-in error checking tool within Visual Basic. I've been John Grizzly. Thank you for listening to this tutorial on option explicit. I hope you enjoy the other tutorials on the website. Goodbye.